the last of the flat trials then and it's a long distance one it's a two and a half mile maiden so look out for john morgan and these he used to do pretty well on the so6 leagues so the top one is credit swap darren howells bishop archie for david lad peace cottage for josh Sutherland, bright sparky and percy the pinto for martin leadham adamski for paul rhodes corporal finder and jj's joy for graham clutterbuck delhi deck and wear him on beauty for vinnie gerard divine prospect for alex cherry avro avian for darren howells blooming chaser for darren thompson royal choco and ruling prince Says for hymns, Cathedral Queen and Finnis Galore for Leon van Rensburg and Galactical Storm for Paul Rhodes. So, big field again, then. And away they go. It's a good big field in these trials. Most people are getting two in. And Percy the Pinto's just about the early leader from Bishop Archie and Wirrim on Beauty. Credit swap in the orange jacket is tucked up against the rail. Two greys right over on the far side. Cathedral Queen, I think, is probably one of them. And Blooming Chaser might be another. They sorted themselves out now, then they've still got an awful long way to go, haven't they? This is the Ascot Gold Cup trip, of course, and Percy the Pinto is just about the leader from Bishop Archie in second. Then Werrimon Beauty is third, and Credit Swap is fourth, with Adamski just behind that one in fifth. Gap of a length or so then to JJ's Joy on the outside of Divine Prospect, then another little gap to Bright Sparky on the outside of the grey Blooming Chaser. And Avro Avian is after that one in Corporal Finder and Royal Choco. Looking towards the back of the pack, it's Ruling Princess, second of the Greys, and Peace Cottage are just the back two. The one by Rensburg's two are towards the back as well, but probably see them closer to the fore at the business end. But it's Percy the Pinto on the inside of Bishop Archie, the leading pair from Werrimon Beauty, is in third. And credit swap as they can't pass the assembled throng. The crowns, there's the old. Totalise eight, a board over there. And they'll pass the winning post shortly. And they've got a complete circuit of Ascot to go. And Percy the Pinto is in the lead just on the inside of Bishop Archie. And a couple of lengths back to Werrimon Beauty and Credit Swap are running together. Adamski is tucked in nicely behind there. And then another pair together are Divine Prospect and JJ's Joy. And the main body of the field. A couple of them running a little bit wide. Darren House, Avro, Avian is one of them and Peace Cottage is still the back marker for Joshua Sutherland but Percy the Pinto by about a neck to Bishop Archie that leads in between those two pretty much all the way and the leading four or five haven't changed all that much it's Percy the Pinto Bishop Archie from Credit Swap and Wear Him on Beauty and Adamski Divine Prospect is getting a bit close Cathedral Queen is also creeping up now JJ's join next in Delhi Deck and Royal Choco Galactical Storm after that one Bright Spark is now dropped towards the back with Peace Cottage Finnish Galore is still out the back as well but Percy the Pinto by about a neck to Bishop Archie on the outside in second gap of a couple of lengths then to Credit Swap and Wear Him on Beauty then Adamski and Divine Prospect then comes JJ's Joy Cathedral Queen Royal Chocos after that one then Galactical Storm trying to get into it as well with Ruling Princess and Avro Avian after that one Finnish Galore Blooming Chase has dropped back a little bit Bright Spark in Peace Cottage is still the back too but it's Bishop Archie on the outside Percy the Pinto on the inside. Those two have been disputing the lead throughout. They're inside the final mile now then. And Bishop Archie just beginning to assert on the outside by about a head. But Percy the Pinto comes back. It's Percy the Pinto and Bishop Archie. Then comes Credit Swap. Then Adamski. Then we're him on Beauty. Divine Prospect is still going well. Cathedral Queen and Royal Choco. Then Delhi Deck. The two that just haven't got going at all are Bright Sparky and Peace Cottage. But it's Bishop Archie and Percy the Pinto still disputing the lead. But Adamski is now making a forward move. Comes to throw down a big challenge on the outside but it's Bishop Archie the leader Damsky goes second Percy the Pinto now drops back into third then comes Credit Swap and Wear Him on Beauty after that one Divine Postbrick Cathedral Queen Delhi Deck and Royal Choco trying to get into it still so is Galactical Storm that's making good move on the outside as Adamski takes it up it's Adamski the leader stable companion Galactical Storm is eating up the ground on the outside and he's swooping around to come and challenge his stable companion there it's Adamski in the lead from Galactical Storm Bishop Archie is next then comes Credit it's swap. Finnish Galore has also come from the back. Where him on Beauty's next. Percy the Pinto's dropped out of it. But it's the Paul Rhodes pair. Is he going to get another one too? They've got two and a half furlongs to go. And it's Adamski in the lead from Galactical Storm. Finnish Galore and Credit Swap are a distance away. It's Galactical Storm on the outside of Adamski. 
Galactical Storm quickly goes two lengths clear. Adamski is trying to challenge back in second. A long gap back to Finnis Galore in third, then Cathedral Queen and Credit Swap and Ruling Princess. But this is going to be another one for Paul Rhodes. They're inside the final furlong, and you can tear up your ticket if you're not on a Rhodes horse here. It's Galactical Storm who is racing towards the line. It looks like he can go around again. It's Galactical Storm who's going to take this one by a good six lengths, I would say, from Stable Companion Adamski second, then Finnis Galore and Cathedral Queen, then Delhi Deck and Ruling Princess after that one. Once again, I finished last but last but one. Can I get a prize, please? But what about that then? It's the Paul Rhodes and Leon Van Medsburg show at the moment. It's a one-two for Paul Rhodes, and I think it's a three-four for Leon Van Rensburg. Although it is, I don't know where they got that um, Peace Cottage coming up from. That one finished well down the back, but again, the graphic said it was four, so that's maybe something that needs to be had a look at. But the winner, Galactical Storm for Paul Rhodes, Adamski second for Paul Rhodes, Phyllis Galore for Leon Van Rensburg, and Cathedral Cream for Leon Van Rensburg. There, third and fourth, Delhi Deck went on to be fifth for Vinnie Gerard.